You wouldn't believe these quick hacks that can make a professional slideshow in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're like me, you probably think that making slideshows is really complicated and takes a lot of time, but I'm here to tell you that's not the case at all. With Final Cut Pro, you can create a beautiful slideshow in minutes. So whether you want to create a presentation for work or just want something to share with your family and friends, I'll show you how to make a classy slideshow and at the end, I'll share two ways to make an automatic slideshow. In Final Cut Pro, go to File, New Event, or press Option N to create a new event. Name it, select the library where you want to store it, and check the Create New Project box. Set your video format and rate. For this project, I'm going to use 1080p and 24p. Then click OK. Now we need to add our images. Go to File, Import Media, or press Command-I. Find your images and press Command-A to select all. Enable Add to Existing Event. Select your event and click Import All. Let Final Cut do its thing. Click on your project and rename it, then double click it to open. Change your clip display to film strip by pressing this button. I find this easier to quickly scan and see my pictures than the list view. Go to Final Cut Pro in the menu and select Preferences or press Command Comma. On the Editing tab, change the still image duration to 3 seconds. Three seconds is a good picture duration for slideshows. It's long enough to take in, but not so long it becomes boring. In the browser, select your images and add them to the timeline. You can select one at a time and add it by pressing E. You can select a few at once by holding down Command while selecting and then press E to add them. You can select a range of clips by selecting the first one, hold down Shift and select another one or drag around the clips. This will select all the clips in between, or you can select all of your images by pressing Command A. With your images selected, press E to add them to your timeline. Notice the black bars on the left and right side? This is because Final Cut Pro automatically adjusted the size to fit the entire image in the viewer. While all the pics are selected, go to the video inspector and at the bottom, change spatial conform type to fill. Ah, much better. If you need to change the picture's duration after they've been added to the timeline, press Command A to select all, then press Control D. The time code changes to purple. This is hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Enter your new duration and press Enter. Right now our slideshow is a bit lackluster. It just cuts from one image to the next. Let's add some transitions. Open the transition browser by clicking this button or pressing Control Command 5 and go to the Dissolves category. Drag and drop Dissolve in between two pictures. Take a look. Now we have a soft transition instead of a jump cut. Go to the Movements category and add the Puzzle transition. Not bad. Go back to the Dissolves category and add the Flow transition between two different images. This makes a cool morphine transition. Final Cut has a ton of free built-in transitions you can use to spice up your slideshow. You can apply a transition to all your pictures at the same time. This is especially handy when you want to use the same transition for the entire project. Select the clips you want to add the transition to and then double click on the transition. Now all these images have the same transition. Looks pretty good, but I think we can make it better. Select an image, right click in the viewer, select crop and click on Ken Burns. This effect will transform the clip from the green start to the red end, like this. Adjust the start and end frames to get the movement you like. Press the preview button in the upper left corner to play it back. The effect lasts the entire duration of the clip. That looks cool! If you want to add this effect to other clips, you could select each clip one at a time, add Ken Burns effect and customize it. But that takes too long. I've got a shortcut for you. Select and copy your clip that has the Ken Burns effect. Select your other clips you want to add this effect to and press Option Command V. This will paste any effects from the first clip onto the other clips. Check them out. I like to add some subtle overlays to my slideshow for some organic movement. Select your slideshow, turn it into a compound clip by pressing Option G and name it. Go to the Effects browser and under Light, add Highlights. In the inspector, crank opacity way down to around 5. Set your temperature to match your images. Select cool if your images have a lot of blue in them, and warm if they have a lot of soft yellow. Or leave it neutral. Play it back. Now we've got a simple and classy slideshow. It looks great! Are you excited to make a slideshow? Has this video been helpful? If so, 
Hit that like button so others can see this video. Thanks! If simple isn't your jam, then you can use the built-in themes to create an interesting slideshow automatically. In the Transitions browser, go to the Stylized category and add Slide Right under the Photo Album theme to your project. Play it back. Nice! Now add Pan Lower Right. Immediately you'll see these numbered pins. Play the transition and pause it in the middle. Each of these pins represents a photo in the transition. Here's photo one, two, and so on. You can move the pins in your timeline to highlight different images. Just click and drag to move them. Add some more photo atom transitions, adjust the pins, and now you've got a stylish animated slideshow. Final Cut has a bunch of themes you can use to make slideshows. Play around with scrapbook, film strip, and bulletin board. Whew, those were some good tips. I hope you enjoyed this video, and now that you know how to make a slideshow in Final Cut Pro, you may find this video I made about creating time lapses helpful. Click here to check it out.